still referring to the same example one but then we want to analyze the question E to determine the pre-consolidation pressure sigma PC so the pre-consolidation pressure which is the sigma PC is the historical pressure that soil uh, previously received maksudnya tanah ni sebelum ni berapa dia punya pre-consolidation pressure pressure ok ok so to solve this question to get the pre-consolidation pressure we need to refer to E versus log stress graph ok then the step 1 is to continue the curve till y axis just smoothly drag the line to make it more look like curvy so this is the previous uh, graph E versus log stress this is the plot previously then what we need to do is to extend the line of the graph to y axis smoothly just drag it use your handwriting to make it look like more curvy alright ok then so this is the extended line to the x y axis ok so this is how it look like when you extend the line so the first step to get the pre-consolidation pressure is to draw the line through the straight portion at your curve, the green line, okay, in this step solution. Okay, the green line is the straight line that through the straight part portions of the curve. Okay, alright then this is the first step then you can see that there is a B I label it as a B at the point at which the green line okay, start to become straight line okay? so it will start at point B so label it as a B okay? the first point that the line start to straight Okay, this one is the second line, third line and fourth line. So we take the first point. Okay, then this is the step number two. Okay, also label the point at uh, A at which you extend the line that touch the Y axis. Okay, tandakan point A dekat mana extended line tadi touch pada Y axis. Okay, now. Okay. You connect A to B with the dotted line as a reference to get the maximum peak untuk this curve. Kita nak dapatkan dekat mana peak point untuk curve yang ni. So the reason why kita underlinekan dotted line nak nampaklah nak dapat visualize dekat mana maximum point. Okay, through observation you also can measure this line ok berapa dia punya panjang dia ni berapa panjang dia berapa panjang dia ok with that you akan tahulah kat mana yang line paling panjang so kita identify the peak point the maximum point yang paling puncak sekali so I labelkan tandakan point merah kat situ ok as a point C ok as a point C Okay, then that's the step number five. Then the next point adalah draw the horizontal line, the purple line ni, eh, the purple line, eh, the step number six through the point C. Okay. Okay, then we have another line, the yellow line, that step number seven, that tangent to the curve yang melalui point C ok 
line number 7 the yellow line dia akan tangent kepada curve yang ni then dia lalu dekat point C ok then alright so we need to bisect line number 6 and number 7 bisect maknanya bahagi 2 untuk dapatkan pastikan that sudut dekat 68 dengan 87 sudut dia atau angle dia sama so kita nak line number 8 ni kita bisectkan line 6 dengan 7 bahagi 2 line 6 dengan 7 untuk dapatkan line number 8 dotted warna red ok and then you panjangkan sampai dekat C lah sebab kita bahagikan dua dia antara line 6 5 7 angle ok alright so now kita tandakan at which intersection point between line number 8 with the line number 1 ok line number 1 and line number 8 so kita tanda X kat sini the yellow X ni ok we want that point alright so then kita tarik vertically down ke bawah melalui log stress punya axis so kita dapatlah berapa nilai dia yang ni eh so that is the value yang kita nak gunakan ok that's step number 10 ok that is the uh, pre-consolidation pressure so this is the log value kita logkan value dia so to get the stress value nilai stress yang sebenar we need to anti-lock the value how dekat calculator you press you tekan shift lock nilai yang ni estimately around 1.55 so you shift lock 1.55 at the calculator you will get the value 35.48 kN per meter square the value might be different uh, with, uh, with others with your friends it depends on how they measure the peak point of C that they get sini Alright, okay. Don't worry. I just want you to know the step. At least you know the step how to get the pre-consolidation pressure. You can try on your own on your graph.